Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Ad Marketing. In this video, I'm going to teach you the advanced Facebook video ads retargeting strategy that helped us reduce customer acquisition costs by 52.8%. Now, I did write this blog post that teaches you what to put in the videos and the strategy behind the videos. And I'll link to it down below, so I definitely recommend you check out this blog post. And in this video, we're going to set up the actual technical elements, the ads and the audiences and all that type of stuff. So let's head over to the Facebook Ads Manager to get started. So the first video and ad we have to set up is our top of funnel video. And to do this, I'm going to go ahead and pop up my power editor. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new campaign. So create campaign. And I'm just going to call this top of funnel video. And for my campaign objective, I'm going to go ahead and choose engagement or post engagement. Now in a blog post, I break down which one you should choose based off of the type of ad you're creating. So check out the blog post for the strategy behind what objective to choose. For my ad set name, I'm just going to call it top of funnel video one. And typically right here, I'd put the actual name of the videos that I was using. So if I had a few top of funnel videos that I was going to go through, I'll just name the ad sets after those particular videos. And for the ad name, I'm only going to have one ad in this ad set. So I'm just going to call it ad. And again, this is for your own organizational purposes. So choose what makes sense to you. I'm going to do save to draft. Now I'm going to go into my campaign and I could go ahead and set up my ad set targeting settings. So of course you'd go ahead and target the particular audience that you want to go after, set your budget, set your devices, all that type of stuff. I'm just going to leave it all as default because this is an example. So I'll move into my ad now and I'm going to go ahead and create an ad and I want to go ahead and upload my video. So I'm going to do video, select video. I'm going to go ahead and upload a new video. Got to go find it. Here's my top of funnel video open. So my video is uploaded. Then I'll go ahead and create my ad. And once you have your ad looking the way you want it, just go ahead and you'll have to publish this first ad in order to do the next step. So just go ahead, hit confirm. All right, cool. So that first ad is submitted. Now what I want to do is come up to my menu here and go into audiences. And I want to create an audience and I'm going to create a custom audience. And I'm going to create this audience based off of engagement and video engagement. And I need to browse for the video that I just added. And in this particular case, I'm going to pick people that have watched at least 50% of my video. So I selected that option, choose videos. And now I need to find my video. So I'm going to go to campaign and locate my campaign name, which is top of funnel video. And then I'm going to go ahead and tick the box here and come down to confirm. And I could go ahead and set this for say seven days and my audience name watched 50% plus of top of funnel video, create audience next and done. And boom, just like that, I'm going to automatically build a audience of people that watch 50% or more of my top of funnel video. Now I need to go back into my power editor and create a campaign ad set and ad for my middle of funnel video. So let's go into power editor and set that up. So into the menu, power editor, and I'm going to create a campaign. I'm going to call this one middle of funnel and bottom of funnel because I'm actually gonna have both videos in this one campaign. And for our campaign objective, I'm gonna go ahead and choose conversions this time because I'm gonna try and get people to buy my product or my service. So my key result are purchases. And then for our ad set name, I'm gonna call it MOF middle of funnel video one. And if I had multiple videos, I'd go ahead and have multiple ad sets and I just named the ad set after the name of the video and I might put MOF there so I know it's a middle of funnel video versus a bottom of funnel video but name things that it makes sense in your head and I'm only going to have one video in this ad set so I'll just call it ad save to draft all right now let's go ahead and enter into our campaign and we need to edit our ad set here so first things first conversion I'm going for purchases and of course you could go for a different event if you want to it all comes down to what you're actually trying to accomplish. Let me set my budget. Now right here is the important part for your audience. You want to do this custom audiences and you want to select the people that watch 50% or more of your top of funnel video. So we click that option there. Uh, you could narrow in your settings if you need to, but really you probably don't want to touch it too much because you want everybody that watched 50% or more of your top of, top of funnel video. So we'll just scroll on down here. You can adjust your placements and all that stuff, whatever makes sense to you. And 
I'm happy with this ad set structure. Come on in here. Got to go ahead and set up my ad now. And I'm going to use another video for my middle of funnel video. So I'm going to select a video, go upload my video, drag and drop. I got my middle of funnel video. And yes, these are all the same videos. But obviously, when you set this up for real, you'll want to follow the strategy that I outline in the blog post because it'll bring people through your funnel. So anyway, middle of funnel video, open. It's going to go ahead and upload real quick. Go find my video, middle of funnel video, hit select. Go ahead and create my ad. And there we go. I am happy with my ad. So we need to publish this ad. So review draft items and publish your middle of funnel video ad. And now we need to go back and create another audience. So come into your menu, go to audiences, and we're gonna create a new audience. And we're gonna do a custom audience. And it's gonna be on engagement video. We're gonna browse. You probably know what I'm doing here, right? Choose our video. We're gonna locate our campaign. We got middle and bottom of funnel campaign. We have our middle of funnel video right here. So hit confirm and I'll go with seven days again and watched 50% plus of middle of funnel video. Create audience. Next, done. And boom, just like that, we're gonna be building an audience of people that watch 50% or more of our middle of funnel video now. So now we need to go back into our power editor and create a bottom of funnel ad set and ad that targets the people that watch the 50% of the middle of funnel video. So let's go into power editor and I'm gonna go into my middle of funnel and bottom of funnel campaign. And I'm gonna create a new ad set and I'm gonna put it in my middle of funnel, bottom of funnel campaign ad set. This will be bottom of funnel video one. I'm going to create an ad and there's only gonna be one ad in here, so I'll just call it ad, save to draft. For our conversions, I'm gonna go after purchases. I'm gonna set our budget. And for our custom audiences, this time we're gonna select people that watch 50% or more of our middle of funnel video. And then you can go ahead and narrow these in if you need to. You'll scroll on down here, you can adjust your placements, all that other stuff, do what makes sense for you. Let's click in here and set up our ad, edit, and we can upload a video or you don't necessarily need a video here. You can use an image or something else if you want to. But this is gonna be your like hard offer ad. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload a video because that's what I have for mine. So I'm gonna select my video, upload video. And I got my bottom of funnel video now. I'm gonna browse the library, select my bottom of funnel video, select. I'm gonna link to my sales page. Go ahead and create my ad. And once I'm happy with my ad, I just go ahead and review draft items and I publish my ad. Now I'm going to head back out here to ads manager real quick. And hopefully you see how this is working. We have our top of funnel video and we're putting that in front of all of our intended audience. So a few million people probably. And we're creating a custom audience of people that watch 50% or more of that video. And for everyone that has watched 50% or more of that top of funnel video, we're going to show them the middle of funnel video. And simultaneously, we'll be creating an audience of people that watch 50% or more of that middle of funnel video. And for all those people, we'll be showing them our bottom of funnel video, which is gonna be a hard pitch to sell our product or our service. And be sure to check out this blog post because I outline the strategy here as well as what to put in each video. Alrighty, so go forth and do great things.